The first thing that I envisioned with Carol was a solo artist that you always felt she was sitting at the piano and singing to you. By then, I had met James and I was starting to sing on his album. I think he was recording Mudslide Slim. By then, he had already had Sweet Baby James. I had played on, on that. It was great. And we played on each other's records. We, we just had a, a common mind, you know. He just uh, made it look so easy. So I did Tapestry in the same spirit. The Carpenters were in Studio A. Uh, Joni Mitchell doing Blue in Studio C. Carol was here. We were making a good record, and that's all we knew that. And it was a simple record. Records like Tapestry could be overproduced in a minute. You know, so, oh, let's add more guitars. Let's add more this, more that. Lou and Carol wanted that simplicity. They wanted it to be just nice and warm and a very comfortable record for people to enjoy. I feel the earth move under my feet. I feel the sky tumbling down. I feel my heart start to tremble and whenever you're around. I wanted to stay that simple and always have that feeling that Carol was singing to you. We turned all the lights down in the room, all the lights that we were seeing, we were seeing and all of the background lights down and all that stuff. And after a while, they got so comfortable with that that they were like, they were playing in their living room. Will You Love Me Tomorrow, uh, Joni and James sang background on. James was on a lot of tapestry. If he wasn't singing, he was playing. They were all friends. To Joni and uh, James, they all were friendly. I knew. And it was fun, you know, they would come in and, and Carol knew what she wanted. We were doing two, three tunes a day. <laughs> it's hard to imagine now. It took us three weeks to make Tapestry, $22,000.